It's the one you've all been waiting for. My name's Ben Parks, 225 Marathoner. Welcome to my kitchen, and this is what I eat in a day. Good morning, everybody. So it's uh, yeah, first thing in the morning here. And yeah, I've got a session to do this morning. So yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of breakfast to kick off the day. Now, yeah, the theme of what you're gonna be seeing a lot on today's sort of video is we're kind of making meals where we can add a lot of extra stuff in quite easily a lot of extra fruits and veggies just to kind of bulk up the meal to get that nutrient all those minerals in there that we need every day to do what we're doing so breakfast is no different so today i'm just kind of starting the day with some <laughs> bog standard sainsbury's muesli really and then into that we're just adding some my favorite thing in the world some chia seeds so yeah we buy these in bulk off Amazon and that reminds me everything like this sort of stuff will list down below and we'll put all of the recipes from today up on the website as well so yeah check down below there'll be a blog post on the website with everything there so yeah we just got some muesli some extra chia seeds we'll add in some more almonds as well to, to beef it up a bit um, just some extra sultanas um, uh, quick banana and also blueberries really really great one of the superfoods of this world good to get some blueberries in there so yeah I'm just gonna put that together now and then have a chat with it. right guys so there yeah there you see just bowl full of loads of goodness basically and yeah we have a lot of other things like this we can sort of porridge and add all of these extra ingredients in really good to buy them in bulk if you buy chia seeds and things in the supermarkets is they just tend to get quite expensive after a while but yeah we get these containers just uh, I think these are just from Ikea and yeah the storage cupboard is jam-packed full of this sort of stuff so we've always got it on hand so yeah to that I just added in a little bit of uh, coconut milk I really like coconut milk um, on my breakfast so I'd have it with yeah whatever I was having and then just for drinks no I don't drink tea or coffee never ever have had even a cup in my life so yeah I don't know what I'm missing out on but just don't like the smell of it so yeah just gonna have some orange juice and water um, yeah probably about a pint pint and a half of that just to, uh, yeah get get the body rehydrated for the day <laughs> Right guys, so just out in my beloved Millwall Park, just finished the session, seven by a K, uh, seven by a K, one K on one K off, so fast K, and then like a recovery K jog. And uh, yeah, haven't had anything else to eat today other than one Morton gel, which we had, I had after about three K. So about halfway through the session, just uh, yeah, really, really like these. They sit really well with me, but no water, no liquids. So we'll head back to the kitchen, get recovery cake shake on the go and a little snack as well. So we'll see you there. Right guys, just back in from the session, feeling good. I would normally take, uh, my headphones out, uh, would normally take um, like a shake with me when I do these sort of sessions. But when I go just Millwall Park, it's, takes about five minutes just to run home just run home make it just try and get something in within about 30 minutes of finishing the run so yeah just gonna make a quick like recovery shake so everything's always different when I do these things but today we just uh, top up that top up the Vitamix thing with just some water then just some protein powder in there just got the stuff from Science and Sport, which is absolutely rank. So I do not recommend this, but me and Sarah are just trying to get through it and then we'll buy something else. Sarah's just actually got some new stuff in at the moment, which is a lot nicer, but it's quite expensive. <laughs> just trying to use it. But yeah, with everything else in it, it kind of tastes all right, but by itself, oh God, it makes you gag. Um, and yeah, cheers, he's back again, just chuck. Just chuck a few of those chia seeds in. Uh, pineapple chunks, now most of my fruit, I just kind of keep frozen, just buy it um, from Tesco's. Tesco's normally the best place, just in these bags with just a bit of pineapple, a little bit of, uh, a few chunks of mango in there as well. Now the best thing to be having, get some frozen blueberries. I had fresh ones this morning because I can't really put these in my breakfast, but uh, yeah, some more blueberries, really good. And antioxidant, that's gonna really help you after any sort of strong session. So blueberries, really great. Uh, yeah, banana, just chuck that in. Bananas are just good, taste nice. Um, and that's kind of it, is that it? 
yeah, that's kind of it. So let's uh, just get that, oh, I'll put that on in a minute because that makes a hell of a racket. And then just with that, just gonna have a couple of bits of toast, whack them in the toaster, and that's it. Little toast, just gonna whack some Marmite on the, on the, um, Marmite on the toast, have that with a shake, just then like settle down, just chill out, gonna put, um, just do some rolling on my legs just for after the session, and that's it little mid-morning, early sort of lunch snack, done. Right guys, it's time for some lunch. And yeah, today we're gonna be having some like fajita burrito sort of things. Now what I'd normally do is just have whatever I had the night before for lunch during the week. So we make, a, we make some quite big portions for dinner. So Sarah's just been having some gnocchi and stuff we had last night, but you don't want to see me just have leftovers from last night. So yeah, just going to cook up um, a big sort of load of filling for some burritos, and then I'll probably just have that tomorrow as well. So yeah, really good for this sort of thing. You can just sort of put it in Tupperware, take it into work the next day, buy some wraps and Tesco's, and the jobs are good for a nice, healthy lunch. So yeah, quick change. Kiki's uh, taken up residence in my usual hoodie so just got another hoodie on but she's fast asleep looking very very cute but anyway so yeah just uh make some fajitas so just put some uh a bit like with the fruit and the things a lot of the veg we have or a lot of the easy sort of veg is just all frozen stuff so um just whack in some frozen onions and then just some frozen garlic a lot of this is just for convenience it doesn't probably taste quite as quite as nice as the fresh stuff but if we've always got it in the flat we've all it's just convenient we've always got it with always no excuse we've always got stuff to eat that's ready there to go and it's just a lot easier really it tastes fine The onions have just been uh, sort of browning there for about two or three minutes and into that we're just going to add some a load of courgette so it's about half a courgette there and then a whole pepper as well just going to get those in and just brown those off nicely as well um, and then yeah should probably add a bit of salt and pepper in there just to add to the seasoning and a bit of salt as well and then yeah, just give those a good sort of stir around and that's just gonna take about two or three minutes just for that. Now also what I quite like to put in the wraps is a little bit of rice as well. So if you haven't got a rice cooker, get a rice cooker. It's changed our lives completely. Just got this little um, one here from Amazon. It costs about 20 pounds, we use it so much. And you have to buy the really expensive microwave packets, which are convenient. For this thing, oh, you save so much money. Right guys, so yeah, we just let the peppers and uh, courgette sort of brown a little bit there, then just added in a little bit of this, um, just sort of fajita spice mix. So yeah, we've got, what do we got in here? Like cumin, oregano, um, paprika, that type of stuff. Just super handy. We just buy these in bulk at supermarket, keep them in the cupboard. Really, really handy for putting in stuff like this. And then just added in a few of the beans, uh, well, the whole tin of beans, so just mixed beans and tomato sauce. Just gonna add a little bit of water now in there as well. And then just leave that for around about 15 minutes just to sort of simmer down, basically. And then, yeah, come back to that soon and we're gonna have a nice, gooey like tomato sauce, perfect for putting in the wraps. And then the rice should be done at about the same time. And we can start putting it all together. Right guys, it is lunch time. I am starving after that run. Just got a wrap here in the microwave, just warming that up. And then yeah, the uh, like sort of tomato sauce is kind of all simmered down really nice. Yeah, great, great food, anybody out there. You've got your carbohydrates, you've got your proteins, and you've got some healthy fats in there. Really great thing, and we're gonna put some spinach in, which is obviously fantastic for your iron as well. So nice, you got everything. <laughs> this isn't missing stuff. So yeah, just um, put a little bit of rice, a little bit of rice on there first, just in the wrap, spread it out, dollop of, um, 
of the filling. And as I said earlier, you can uh, just put this in the fridge when you're finished, take it into work the next day, have it just at home the next day. It keeps really, really well. And like a lot of sort of tomato -y sauces, it tends to get better the longer you've got. We're gonna add in some um, avocado in there. We eat a lot of avocados at home. So um, chuck that on the top. Oh, this is looking really, really tasty. A little bit of spinach on there as well. And you can add, I've got some hummus here. I might have hummus on my second one. Um, and then just gonna add a little bit of dressing. Oh, when Pizza Express, I used to love this sauce, came out with the vegan edition at the start of this year. Very, very happy boy. Just gonna get that on there. And bon appetit, that looks great. I'm gonna get stuck into that. I'm really gonna have two of these um, this afternoon. And yeah, probably have a little bit of hummus in there on the second one. So let's gonna get stuck into this and have a chat about supplements. my first wrap. I can't wait. In terms of drinks, I really don't drink that much. Um, occasionally have a beer, but it's a very rare occurrence. Normally have like an alcohol-free beer for out and about. But yeah, most like day-to-day, -day, just a lot of water or orange juice. <laughs> That's kind of it, really. No real reason, just quite like it. The water in London is kind of fine for the most part. But anyway, supplements. Now, oh, there's only two supplements I take, just a vitamin B12 supplement. Just take one of those a day, just got those on Amazon. And then in the winter time, take a vitamin D supplement. Um, just because, yeah, and where we live in the UK, we just cannot get enough vitamin D from the sunshine. So I have to supplement with that, but really good for bone health, um, especially. Um, yeah, so really recommend that. Anyone in the UK should be taking a vitamin D supplement in the winter. Don't take anything else, don't need to take anything else. What I do, always say is I'm just about to do my blood test. I'm not going to do these now because I've just rinsed myself on a session, probably not going to get good results. But I'm going to do these blood tests tomorrow, so I'll put some footage up on the screen of when I do these. Um, so yeah, this is just using a company called Fourth Edge. And yeah, you just do, you get this pack and then you prick your finger and you send the blood off. And then you get all the results analyzed on your screen. This company I really like because it's quite athlete focused, which is really good and then they just tell you how you're doing, how you help, are you healthy, how are you fueling your body, and that's what I base my supplements off. If I've got a deficit on those results, then I can supplement with that to try and correct it, but I just don't see the point in throwing loads of other supplements down my neck just because somebody, marketing company, says I need to when I just check my, you know, check the blood test and just see what they say and go with what go with what is on that really. So that's what I always recommend guys. Don't just take supplements just because we're told to and whatever. One little caveat to that, a little multivitamin I sometimes take when we're traveling. I've just got some science and sport general multivitamins. When we're traveling, we can't get access to the kind of food we normally have and cooking at home, but try and get everything I need from the food we're eating on a daily basis. Right, I'm gonna get stuck into this. Then we've got work uh, all afternoon, obviously. And then we'll catch up for dinner. So yeah, we'll see you later on in the day. Right guys, so welcome to the evening. It's getting on a bit now, it's about half past nine. Now we don't normally eat this late, but we've been out at Good Gym this evening. If you don't know about Good Gym, it's all about getting fit by doing good in the community. So we went on a little run and then planted about 50 trees at local primary school, all part of the Mayor of London's getting the air quality improving in London. So yeah, check it out, Good Gym, really, really good. And yeah, lots of fun things. We're just gonna make some noodle, like a stir fry with some noodles and things this evening. Super, super quick. When we're in a rush, we don't like to eat this late. So just gonna, yeah, chuck this together. So just browning some onions quickly in the pan now. And then, yeah, we've just got some carrots, some broccoli, some pepper, uh, some mange too, and some baby sweet corn, and then we'll chuck in some noodles as well. So yeah, as I say, just browning some onions quickly. Just chuck in a few carrots. The pan's at super high heat, this uh, really good pan we've got. We've only really got one pan, but just spent a lot of money on one good pan. Just gonna get the carrots, just because they're a bit thicker, take a bit long to cook through. Add in some broccoli there as well. And then just gonna leave that for a couple of minutes just so those can cook through and then we'll add in the other ingredients as well. Right guys, now to yeah, just 
left that for a couple of minutes and now we're going to add in all these amazing lovely veggies so yeah we've got the peppers the moist too and the sweet corn in there as well get those in to the pan a few little bits trying to escape there really good stir around pan's just on maximum heat lots of like steam and smoke coming off it and then also going to add in a little bit of uh, well the whole pack of marinated tofu there as well which uh, yeah we got in the shop this evening so yeah just going to put the lid the lid on that and just let it cook through for about five minutes and uh, yeah then we'll come back and add some sauces on as well <laughs> So the veg has just been cooking down there, it's looking really nice, there's so many colours in the pan, it's really good to be getting, eat the rainbow as we say, I don't think we've had any purple today, but we've had a lot of other great colours, but yeah, just going to add in some noodles, we've just got some lentil, some whole, wholesome lentil noodles, how nice does that sound, so yeah, get them chucked in, just got some garlic granules, bit of an optional thing, probably should have put them in before the noodles really, but we'll chuck a little bit of that in there, Give that a really nice mix around. The heat coming off this is amazing, and there's so many smells, smells lovely. Getting super hungry, guys. Right, and then we're just going to add a little bit of soy sauce um, over the top. Just a I don't really know, we just kind of chuck these things in. As I said earlier, we'll put all the proper ingredients and things on the website. And also a little bit of sweet chilli sauce. Love this stuff. Get that nicely covered up. Give that another really good mix around. You enjoying watching this at home? <laughs> It's really good fun to make. I want to make some more of these videos for you guys coming up as well. So yeah, subscribe if you don't subscribe already. Lots more what I eat in a day. How good is that looking now? Right, I think that's kind of it. So we're just going to get this probably in about another minute there and then we'll serve it up and we'll see you on the sofa for the tasting. It's time to finally get stuck in to dinner. Kiki is in the way as usual. Are you gonna move, Keeks? Do you wanna be on the vlog today? What are you eating a day? You probably want to sit on my lap in a minute. So uh, yeah, guys, hope you've enjoyed it. Follow along. We're gonna get stuck. Sorry, Kiki. Oh, that's nice and warm. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Straight on the lap. She's a happy cat. So I hope you've enjoyed following along today, guys. Really enjoyed putting this video together. Hopefully you've got some good things you want to incorporate into your sort of nutrition routine. If you want to ask any questions down below, I always hang out in the comments down below as soon as we upload a video. So yeah, we're going to hopefully make a few more of these bits and pieces as well. But any advice you need, I'm not a qualified nutrition. This is simply just what I eat during the day. But yeah, hopefully you might like some recipe ideas. And as I said, they'll be all up on the website soon. So check down below for the notes. And that's it. Thank you for all the support with the hats and the buffs and uh, wraps and plans and everything. It's really great. And we couldn't do this without you. So that's it, guys. We're going to say goodbye now. So from me, Sarah, and Kiki the cat, who's probably going to sleep here uh, for quite a while. We're really looking forward to seeing you next time. So yeah, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.